Hi guys, today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can pack a punch in Shadows of Evil by round 3. Now it's it's quite easy if you know the, your way around the map, it's you know it's not too hard. A little bit complicated, can feel a bit as if you're in a maze but hopefully if you just keep trying and trying you should be able to figure, figure out the map and most of you have probably have already played it anyway so this is just a quick run through of what I usually do when I'm playing on solo. Uh, it can be done on online as well, you know, it's quite easier online to be honest because you can keep one of your teammates uh, to get one of the zombies, but it's it's quite easy like you say, I wonder what this key it's just a quick run through for you, to, you can pause or you know you can follow through step by step what I do. So. They are a one hit kill them zombies there on round one, so you don't when you do the ritual in a second as you'll see, you don't need to worry about um going down they are you, they do only take you know one hit so if you find yourself in a sticky situation and you can't get out or you cornered just use your knife nine times out of ten you'll be able to get out so, so this is how you do you want to get the summoning key and the artifact as you saw saw me do there. Place it down. It has to be. No. Go down there, please. There's four altogether that you need to get, and this is the first one. This is the, you know, you may as well do this one first. It seems as though it's so close to the starting area, and it's quite easy. So, and there you go. That's it. Um, online, I have noticed when you're doing this with other people, multiple people, um. The, the time it takes to do the actual ritual itself, like training round, waiting for the gateway to spawn, it does. T it does seem to take quite a while. So bear that in mind if you're thinking about doing it with any of your friends or any other people online. So yeah, and I would only, I would highly recommend as well when you first do this, when you when you, you switch the power on for quick revive and you hit the crane to bring the artifact down. At the end, when you whack the door make sure there's a double points in there because if it's a max ammo then uh, you're not really going to be able to get the points to be able to get through the doors you know to open the doors and so, so on to get the pack punch by round three so you might want to if there's max ammo there just end the game it's only going to be round one anyway it shouldn't take too long to restart a new game just keep trying until you see double points in there once double points in there you want to get it on the beginning of round two as you can see here and just max points out so that's three shots and a knife and sometimes you will get a new which can be a bit of a bit of a pain in the bum but if you've got double points I suppose it is well it does aid a bit you're just gonna not get a pack punch open by round three it's just gonna be round four but like you say if you want to stick to it you want to get it all done by round three then obviously this is what you need to do <coughs> And as you know, you can do them the artifact rooms and rituals in any order. I just find this is easiest for me. I don't know why. I just do it. It's just you know routine when I'm playing solo. This is the route I'll take. So I'll do the starting area first. Then I'll do uh, this one. This is the uh, the Lesk one. Then I'll go do the Ruby Rabbit one. And then it's the wrestling ring one. That's just the, the route I like to take. So there's two zombies there. Just ma again, max points out. Get the artifacts. Bring it on! I ain't scared. They they only give you ten points per bullet as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, I am going to be making more videos as well uh, for this. And uh, this Black Ops Shadows of Evil, I'm going to be doing, you know, how to, how to build the uh, riot shield, the um, the wonder weapon as well. Unfortunately, there is a patch so you can't actually upgrade the wonder weapon now, but it's still as good and effective. It's so good. It's a must-have weapon, especially if you want to get the high rounds. So like again, again, just train. There is quite a. It's not. There's not a lot of space, but there is. If you get me, you can. It should. Be, it shouldn't be too difficult just to train them. Doing it solo, it doesn't take a while. Nero, it doesn't take as long as it does as on multiplayer. 
Also, watch your back, because this has got me a few times. Some zombies sneak out of here when you're trying to get the gateway and end up coming down all the time, so make sure you watch your back. Also, you see I don't have much ammo to take down this Magua as well. I don't have much ammo, so what you want to do is get the Fumigator, and open the pods and you'll either get the uh, free round pistol, uh, free round burst pistol, or you'll get the sniper, I think you can get the shotgun as well. But what you want to do is get one of them guys and just kill the Magua. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's 500 points per head as well, so... Which is very good, and I think, yeah, I think it's just 500 points for all three heads. Oh, missed a few there. <laughs> and, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Also, you pick the hat up there. I'm gonna do that in another. I'm gonna do that in another video, where you ha that's how you get the wonder weapon. So, so you want to become the beast, like that. I'm presuming you everybody knows. Well, not everybody. This is like say a, a quick guide. I I haven't got time to explain fully, but it's just a quick run through how to get it open on round three. Pack a punch. You just want to go up there. Is that that. If you do get stuck, like I said, you can just stop and rewind, or you know, follow through. You got to pick the police badge up. Open that. Let me guess. brought this on. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, and then you just want to place the um, artifact down. Do the ritual. Again, this is this is a good room to train, actually. So it's, it's definitely it's honestly not that difficult. I think the hardest one is doing the boxing in the boxing ring one because obviously there's tight spaces and. But also, again, you you just gotta get them in a cluster. And it should be easy. Not too difficult. And like you say on solo, it doesn't last as long. So it, it's basically, I think it's about 30 seconds maybe. And there's the third gateway. Right, the last one, guys, is the one in the wrestling ring. Uh, I think this is the hardest one out of them all because there's very tight spaces that like you can't move that much around. All you've got is the ring, like all the way around. So there is areas where you can go, like there's like a stairway. You can either go up the stairs and round and down again, but there there is two portals where the zombies spawn. So and you can run into him. Like if you're running through that. If you're running through the portal and it does blare your vision, you can't see. You could end end up running into a zombie and then obviously not knowing what's going on and then going down. So, but what you want to do is you want to start around three, just get points. I think you you should only need uh, 1,250 to open a door, and then from there you can go ahead and be the beast and get the artifact. I will show you how to do that, as I have done throughout. But yeah, this is the last one. So you just gotta wait. Just get a few points. You can max points out if you if you want to. If you're that low on points, you shouldn't be that too low. Cause you want to be getting everything done by round three, so you want to be saving your points. But so just get 1,250 points, and that should be enough to open a door. I'm putting down anyone who gets in my way. Save a zombie. So that you, you don't start the next round. Make it easier for yourself. Because you don't want to be doing the 
ritual and having loads of zombies piling on, in on you. So it's always best to save one zombie every round if you're doing something. So here we go, be the beast. So you hook up there, and then you just literally right across from the opposite, you hook again. Hit the box. Now if you jump over, you see here, I think I try and do it. I don't think I do it successfully. You can run down. There is a chance that if you do it quick enough, if you jump over that feet, uh, banister, you whack, whack the door, run straight upstairs, you can jump, as you see, look, you jump there, and you, ca you should be able to smash that as well. Obviously, I'd, I didn't have enough time, but there is nine times out of ten when I play through this, I always end up getting that door open as well. So that's a, a tip for you. So you kill these two. Remember, this is the last one, so uh, Magua will spawn as well. So just be prepared for that. And if you are, you've still got haven't got uh, used the pods then I'd, I'd recommend using the pods or buying the pistol from the starting area or the shotgun because from this you'll get 500 points anyway and then you will, you'll be able to spend them because that's everything done so so like I say look it's quite tight so you just want to make sure you you move in around like you see where where I mean with the portal you could, you could get trapped up there so you just want to Try and train. I don't think I'm, I don't think I do it in this video. Well, basically, you just want to get them in a cluster and just make sure you go, don't go down really, and just train around the ring. Uh, but it just doesn't take that long anyway. So, anyway. and there you go. That was the last gateway. Shadow Man there. I'm wearing you down. So just kill the Magua. Hey, I never asked for a rematch. You really ought to fall down when I hit that you one. Like that. I think that one knocked out some teeth. Three, and he's dead. So what you want to do after you've killed the Magua, you just... Well, you can choose to pick that up. There's only one zombie left anyway. If it's a nuke, I recommend don't picking it up. <laughs> but just go to the portal, open it if it's not already open, go through. Now yeah, this is where the ritual room is. You have to kill these that spawn in. I will walk right through and you see this door here, that re each, there's like one in the middle, that's the summoning key, and then the four around it, they represent the gateway. And so all five have to be lit. The middle one's always going to be lit, but the, outs the outside ones have to be lit for you to open Pack-a-Punch, the ritual room. But oh, basically all you do is just walk up to the wall and it'll just go off and it'll open. And then you put the gateways down, as you see me doing here. You don't have to put. There is no order that I'm aware of. You just put them in any order that you want. Make sure you've got all four, and this will link all of them together. And then once all of them are linked, there's a like a, throughout all of them. There's a ritual stand. You place the summoning key, and it'll start the ritual. Now, basically, what I do is I just literally run round circles around this little stand here. That's all I do. It's as easy as that. If you you know if you're trying to cluster them together, just go around there as well. There's an, there's another one on to the right right hand side as well. So look, as you see me do here, and then once this is done, as you will see, there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. Pack a punch round three. And that is it. And then the Shadow Man will, will go away, and then that's it, you pack a punch. Um, uh, Magua will spawn in a second, too. So you might just want to be a bit careful of that. He'll spawn to the right. I'll show you look, right there. There he is. So yeah, that's, that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I am going to be posting some more videos on how to uh, obtain the... Like I said, the riot shield, the wonder weapon, the sword, and how to upgrade the sword. So, I think I did them all in this game as well, too. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Final round. Let's go for the knockout.